Hey guys, welcome back to Open Flame. As always, I'm your host, Mason Atkins. We've got an awesome show for you today, and I can't wait for y'all to see it. All right, today we're joined by one of the coolest guys I know. Met him about a year and a half ago. He loves playing pranks on people. Uh, Chase Richardson. Whoa! Chase, where'd you come from? I've been here all along. Sneaky Chase. How you doing, buddy? Good, man. Dude, what do you got for us today? Man, I'm gonna make some uh, bacon-wrapped meatloaf. You had me at bacon. That's all I needed yeah. to know. Well, or meatloaf. Meatloaf. There's meatloaf in it? Oh, yeah. All I care about is the bacon. It's gonna be awesome. All right, let's get to it. So with the bacon wrap meatloaf, what's the, what's the first step we're doing here? Well, the first step we're gonna do is make the sauce. Okay. So you're gonna need two cups of ketchup. Two cups of ketchup. We got a little measuring thing here. Okay. So you can kind of just pour it in here. It's a lot of ketchup. Oh yeah. You can never have too much ketchup either. Well, much like butter. Uh, ketchup and ranch, you can put on anything. So. So actually we're gonna do it a little less. That's fine. <laughs> just a because, little less than two yeah, cups. We don't need it would have more. been too tangy if you put two cups yeah, in Yeah, the right? more you talked about it. Yeah, like, yeah. I have right. to never have too much. I yeah. was like, it got you. You freaked can't out. have too much. Yes, you're right. And I realized that, that was too much. <laughs> so uh, then you're gonna take five tablespoons. Five tablespoons. Takes a while. Yeah. One, Where's the five two. tablespoons? I'm sure there's a better way to do it. There that. probably is. So let's we'll just count them out for but you. One. one. There you go. And two. I like how it comes out in like a right. Like a so perfect, most people you that know, is they satisfying to watch. Too. They don't use measuring. Things, they kind know? of just throw it in. There's just a scotch here, a bushel there, and how many other? <laughs> that's five. Did you stop counting? No. So that's oh, five. <laughs> five. Okay, now one. What's this, Mason? That's a tablespoon. Good job. So, so that was a teaspoon? Yes. Okay. This is. A... They're different, guys. They're different measurements. Yes. Sound just the same. A little bit, a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger. Sure. That smells really good. Strong. Was well, very strong. Pungent. So, so uh, one, just one? Just one. One tablespoon. Okay. You're one gonna count? Enough. Okay. One, there okay. you go. Got it. All right. Now all you're right. gonna so mix is that, that up. Is that all that goes into the sauce? That's it. That's it. Yep. Three ingredients. Three ingredients. Is that for after, or are you putting that on so with So some of it's is... gonna cook with it. Okay. And then. So save some for yeah. after. Yeah, and then after, you're gonna take it out and coat it with it where there's a nice glaze. All right, so you've mixed together all your ingredients for the sauce. Yes. What's next? Next, we're going to cut up some vegetables. You put vegetables in it? Yes. Um, oh. I know my kids don't like vegetables either. Okay. So yeah, this I. is a good way to sne just sneak it in there. Sneaky Chase. The sneaky Chase. That's that's Chase's nickname around the station. They eat it and they He like loves them. to sneak around. Scare people. <laughs> a lot of that goes around. on at the firehouse is, is yes. scaring people. Yes. All right, so you, you typically do that to... Get your kids the veggies they need. Yes. What yes. a dad. Great dad. Great you dad. Just sneak it in there. Yeah, yeah. I like it. So, I've already cut up some onion. Okay. I don't know how to do that. Okay. And then uh, I'm just going to cut up some bell pepper. Look just at the one. knife skills. All right. So, you dicing that up or just slicing no, it? No, I'm going to dice it. Dice it up? Um, okay. So, okay. dice up your bell pepper, dice up your onion. Right here. There you go. That is amazing knife skills. Where'd you learn this? Josh Conrad. Really? Believe it or not. Because I used to do it like this. No, you didn't. Oh. And they would pop off on people. Hit people in the face. And when you get them in the eye, they don't like it's that. It's like I need to change it. People up. don't like bell pepper in the face or the eye. Your kids can't detect the crunch. Um. So cooked in this, it's Is gonna it get soft. It? Okay. Yeah. Cool. So they'll never know. To all you parents out there, this is how you sneak the veggies in. There you go. So you got your sauce made. You got your right. veggies diced up, so you can mm -hmm. sneak that into your children's meals. Yes. Great dad tip there. Thank you. Thank All right, so what's someday, next? Someday. One day, guys, yeah, one day. I'm teaching you. Thank you. What's next? Um, so next we're gonna put it all in, mix it all in a bowl with our meat. Pack it all in. Pack it all in, that's right. <laughs> so we've got <coughs> two pounds of beef. Ground beef? Yes. 90-10? Um, normally we do 90-10 uh -huh. to be healthy. Yeah, what's but this one? This one's gonna be 85-15. Ooh. Because we, we want a little more grease on this yeah. one. Yeah. So, why do you why do you want the more grease? Because with bacon it's not enough. Okay. No, there's gonna be. So you want to add as much grease as bacon. possible. Right. No. Yes. It, um, it's gonna. You want it to shrink up a little bit into okay. a loaf. Oh. So. Hence meat 
loaf. It's a loaf, loaf. of meat. Yeah. Got it. So we got two pounds of ground beef. Mm -hmm. What's going in next? So we're gonna put some par grated Parmesan. Parmesan? Yes. Okay. Um, about a cup. About a cup? You're gonna so eyeball it? There's about two cups in here, so okay. about half of this. Okay. So you just kinda make it rain. Make it rain. Like I that. love when it rains Parmesan cheese. <laughs> this is the best kind of rain. <laughs> best kind of rain out there. You get a little more. That's little what I'm more, talking about. More. If you overdo it, you can never it's have cheese. too much cheese. Right. So we butter, butter and cheese. cheese. Mm, ketchup. Not so much. Not so much. There you go. Now this is the weird thing. This that is goes different. on salad, Chase. No. Croutons go on salad. This is croutons. Now most people do breadcrumbs, stuff like that yes. in their uh, meatloaf. This is different. This is already seasoned for you. Garlic and butter okay. seasoning. Don't Pre crush it. Just leave it. But just leave it. Hold back. Hold back. The whole that's reckless. Hold back. The whole bag yes. of croutons. Whole bag of croutons. Just and like you just that. threw it away. I know like it, it sounds nothing. crazy, but they're gonna be soft. So is that like your secret ingredient? Is that like your trade? Like hey, it's it's a trick. I do croutons. Okay. You know, I didn't make it up. So I, okay. Everything Where'd that you get I cook. It? I, I steal from another firefighter. Okay. So, do you remember who gave you this recipe? Yeah, his name was Ryan Hay, so shout out. Thank shout you. Shout out, Ryan. Hey. Thanks, Ryan. Hey, Ryan boy. Hay. Appreciate anyway. the croutons. Uh, yeah, so that's the key okay. to being in the fire service, I think, is like everybody has a couple things they're really good at. Mm -hmm. And if you steal them, then you become. Then you're good at like 10 different lots things. Lots of things. So you're like yeah. the. You're the you don't even have yeah. to create anything. You you're like a steal. utility player. You do it all. And the key is you don't cook it. Whenever that guy's on the same shift, so they so never know. Other shift, smart. Whatever. They think you're a really good other cook. station. When in actuality, you're just stealing things from other people. There you go. Nah, makes sense. Yeah. Makes sense. All right. So, so you added the croutons. Yep. And then we'll do your veggies. veggies in there. It's kind of sad to watch all the veggies go in there. Like it was really good, <laughs> no, and then you started adding no, veggies. No, trust me. <laughs> trust me. Sound like my daughters. <laughs> All right. Okay. And then you got your two eggs. Two eggs. That's is that pretty right. standard in all meatloaf? You yes. Add eggs. Yes. Okay. That's I what's feel like going I've always seen. Hold that. it together. Okay. Um, Give it the consistency. Yes. So. Okay. Oh, hit them against each other. Yeah, I couldn't decide what method I wanted to do. You can do on the, on bowl. the bowl table. Uh, Have you ever done it on just, your head? No, but I, can I do it on you? No, you may not. No. Oh, and then he went with the ball. Like it. Had to because the yes, egg was there gone. wasn't another egg. Next, we're gonna get dirty. That's, you're gonna get dirty. I'll yeah, watch you yeah. get dirty. So, I will you're, recommend taking off your. Let you me hold that for you. Yeah, Kaylee, I got it. I mean, don't get any ideas. No, I'm happily married. Good. Okay. All right. So you're kneading the meatloaf yes, right now. I'm kneading it like really, kneading really it. kneading like, it. Not like I want it. You want it. I oh, need so this. so you. N E E D. Yes. You need it. Yes. Okay. Now you're good. Not to get confused with the other kneading. Well, kneading. So you really just want it all to stick together. Okay. Like, so just kind of hand me some strips. Yeah. I will hand you as much bacon as you want. So you're gonna are you gonna line That's the pan? Big... Okay. So he's yes. lining the pan with the bacon. Yes. That's kind of like that. Okay. Yeah. Now you're gonna put a little bit of okay. that sauce on the bottom. So sauce the bottom. Okay. That's good form, by the way. Thank you, thank you. Great form. Sometimes I like to use a brush. Mm -hmm. Just really just paint a picture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Bob Ross. The, Bob Ross. Bob Ross the meat right. loaf. I Those like happy it. Happy birds. And yeah. all <laughs> yep. So okay. uh, now you're gonna take your okay. loaf here. Got the loaf. The loaf of meat. Man, that does look pretty good, actually. Oh, you doubting me? I was pretty surprised. Oh, uh, yeah. oh, actually, it's pretty good. <laughs> All right. Oh, sweet. So now you're tucking you, it in. You wrap okay. that bacon back around. Mm -hmm. All right. So we've put the bacon down on the cutting mm -hmm. board here, about six pieces again, and we're glazing this one too. Yes. So Love you're going to glaze both of them. Okay. So it's on both ends. You're getting that seasoning on mm -hmm. it. Double side. Oh yeah. Double sided glaze. Oh yeah. Now okay. what do you do after you glaze here's, this? Here's the tricky part. Uh oh. Get ready. Are you so. just going to throw it? You just drop it down. Dang. Just like that. Okay. This goes on the end? On the ends? Okay. You see how I'm doing it? Yep. It's not that hard to wrap around. Just really pay attention. <laughs> That's a little, this well, looks amazing. It's a lot of meat. It's a bacon football is what it is. And you don't have to eat all this meat. Like it's a lot, mm -hmm. but it's just the flavor it gives it and okay. being cooked in it. How do, you, how do we get it back in there? Dang. 
Where'd yeah. you learn this? Just push it down so it kind of Right, my hands are pain. filthy. <laughs> You really should wash your hands. You really should wash your hands, guys. You got it. Do you need help? You got it. Oh my gosh. So right. now, it's ready to go in the oven. It's ready? Yeah. So all that stuff got us prepared. Mm -hmm. Temperature, time? 375. Okay. Uh, you're going to put it in there for 50 minutes. 50? 50 minutes. Guys, start this early. Yes. This takes a while to cook because it's just so big. Yes. And tall. Mm -hmm. So after 50 minutes, I want you to take it out. Okay. Get your glaze. Glaze her up. Glaze it up again. Love hey, it. And it gets that nice, like. Shiny, coat, perfect. It's like a host of cooking show. Dude, I you're mean. reading exactly yes. every word I was going to say. Right put. there with you. Okay. Okay, so, so we're going to put it in the oven and uh, let it cook. All right. All right, looks like we got it out of the oven. Dang, right. that looks right. Thank you. I'll tell you that right now, it looks good. So right now, you're okay. gonna let it sit for rest. He needs to rest, doesn't he? Needs he needs to rest. He's been He's working. Been through a lot. He's been through a lot. So he'll rest for about 10 minutes, and okay. we're good to go. Then you can cut it. You want it to rest so all the juices mm -hmm. can get, and he's tired. Mm -hmm. He's real tired. Yes. Okay. And that looks so, really good. All right, can you do it? I don't know. Guys, presentation. The plating is key. Yeah, put it on the, there you go, there you go. Boom. That is how it's done. Well, I'm Mason. This is Chase. Thanks for watching. Open fly.